got a new ambulance. Residents of Punta Gorda Town are the proud recipients of two ambulances and the thousands of dollars worth of donated medical supplies and equipment. During brief ceremonies on the front lawn of the PG Hospital on Saturday evening, the donation was officially handed over. This donation means a lot for us. As you may recognize that we have only we had only one ambulance to service 51 villages, including Tong. Our health system in the Toledo district has been one that was struggling for some while. And as mayor, I thought it necessary for us to have find some donor for us to, to see how we could improve. Punta Gorda Town Mayor Floyd Lino says the donation is a welcome addition to the district's health care delivery services. It was procured through his office and made possible by the Swanson Foundation, whose representatives were present at a Saturday evening's handing over ceremonies. I think the significance is, is how the, uh, the d donation came about. I think the, uh, the local community in Punta Gorda and uh, sharing with us some of the uh, problems they have in uh, accessing health care for some of their rural areas and even transporting patients from here to, to higher level care uh, helped the, the Swanson Family Foundation work in collaboration to try to help solve some of those problems. Um, so being able to bring some ambulances uh, to help with that transport issue to, to provide much, much more uh, expedient care for the emergency situation I think is a, a wonderful thing for Punta Gorda. The equipment includes an x-ray machine, monitors, gurneys and other emergency supplies. According to the donor, one of the ambulances could be used primarily for transport services while the other can function as an emergency response vehicle. Dr. Price says that his organization is committed to ensuring that vehicles and equipment remain in good repair. One of the things that the Swanson Family Foundation really wants to do is to train local people to be able to maintain the equipment they bring, uh, how to find parts, how to fix the parts so it doesn't do anybody any good if it breaks in six months and nobody can use it. It's one of the things that we try to do is to come back and do some continual training. We realize we can't do all the training at once, um, but we've been having courses here both with the drivers as well as those who will go and respond to the emergencies, so the drivers, the EMTs, and the biotechnical people to try to help uh, improve their education, how to, to work with, work within, and keep it uh, running. It, it means a lot to us um, in view of the fact that um, we only have one ambulance uh, trekking from here to um, Dangriga on a very regular basis, sometimes twice a day. And then uh, we have difficulty in terms of reaching our other um, areas in this district. You know the Toledo district is very rugged and, and wide. And so with these uh, equipments that we've gotten here, it is going to improve our response time and to transport our patients from here to the Dangriga significantly. Also significant is the goodwill and confidence which the new equipment will lend to the Punta Gorda Hospital which took a public beating last year when a baby died allegedly because of negligence. In fact, earlier today, um, it was stated over and over again uh, that we have this Toledo District Health Committee. And the Toledo District Health Committee is an outcome of um, that tragic situation that happened. And I can assure you, um, um, ever since this District Health Committee came on stream, it has been serving as, as an advisory body to the health system. And I have seen several improvements in our health system here in the South as a consequence of that, um, because it is a cross-section of people who are a part of it. And so, you know, it, it really is um, helping. And this, this donation, in fact, it offsets some of the negative that constantly um, comes out of our health system. But, um, it was rather unfortunate that that situation occurred way back then um, well, in Toledo. And it is our responsibility as leaders here and as citizens and people from the health services to ensure that we don't have reoccurrences of that nature. That Punta Gorda Health Committee is headed by community activist Alejandro Vernon. Mayor Floyd Lino says PG residents are appreciative of this generous donation.
it, it was procured so through the office of the mayor. Um, too many times, I'm going to be blunt with this one, yeah? too many times contributions have come to our district, particularly to Punta Gorda Tongue, and it has not reached the tongue because it, the procurement system, as it is currently structured, is such that when it goes to the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Health decides where it goes. And many places in the country have needs. Um, the, the Minister of Health particularly has a decision as to where what goes when it comes. In this instance, I know our constraints, hence my reason for inviting my Minister Eden Martinez on board. Thanks to the Prime Minister for facilitating us with the duty exemptions and things that we need to get done. And the government, I believe, the entire health system have facilitated us. It, it didn't go as smoothly as I would have expected it to be, but can I say that it's just politics? <laughs> we, we've gotten it, and uh, Toledo District really needed it because one ambulance for service 51 villages wasn't cutting it for us. Reporting for Love News, I am Patrick Jones.